Hey there, can everyone hear me? Yeah. You got some Stop Ikisai placards? Yeah. Hold them up. I've got one. I'm wearing mine. Oh. Come on, give me one, give me one. <laughs> okay, I've told I've got five minutes, so I had to script it because there's so much to get into this. Exactly four years ago today, on Easter Day, as it was then, 2019, my dearest friend and closest colleague died of a rapid and aggressive cancer. I loved her, as did many, many others around the world. She was glamorous and charming, sharp as a tack, generous to a fault, an idealist and a visionary, and she left me a rather unusual legacy. Her name was Polly Higgins, and she was a lawyer. Having given up a lucrative career in the courtroom, she dedicated the last 10 years of her life, four and a half of which I spent working closely with her, to one thing, putting in place a law to protect the earth. We co-founded a public campaign together in 2017, and it was this campaign that I inherited, the campaign to make ecocide an international crime. What do we mean by ecocide? Mass damage and destruction of nature that has been committed relentlessly and repeatedly over many decades in pursuit of rapid economic development, leading inexorably to the global climate and ecological crisis we now face. Why do we advocate for a criminal law? Because as a society, we use criminal law to draw moral lines, to distinguish what we accept and what we do not. It is how we prevent unacceptable behavior. Murder is a crime to prevent people being killed. And now, there is a growing realization around the world that ecocide must also be made a crime to prevent mass destruction of nature. I remember Polly's last few days in the spring of 2019 when she saw the April Rebellion unfolding on her laptop and stop ecocide placards showing up all over London the first time she had seen this simple but essential message taken to the streets. She said to me, Jojo, it's all going to happen now. And she was right. It is happening. Over the last four years, we have been joining the dots around the world with other campaigns, criminal lawyers, politicians, diplomats, finance networks, NGOs, faith leaders, youth influencers, and more. With all of you. The campaign we started has grown into a global advocacy organization with teams and associate groups in over 45 countries. And guess what? It's working. There is now an internationally acclaimed legal definition of ecocide, courtesy of an independent expert panel of lawyers convened by our foundation. There are now at least 27 member states of the International Criminal Court on record talking about ecocide law with more behind closed doors. Just last month, the EU Parliament proposed including ecocide crimes into the EU Environmental Crimes Directive. There is a clear direction of travel here. All governments need to do is join in. We all know that major changes are needed if humanity is to thrive into the future. Ecocide law is the simple course correction that can support those changes. It can level the corporate playing field and enable the many, many solutions that are out there, from regenerative farming to renewable energy to circular economy, to truly engage while giving others the guardrail they might need to steer towards safer practices. You can't greenwash with criminal law. This is now a global conversation, partly because the word ecocide captures something, the terrible extent of damage that we can all feel is happening to the natural living world in so many different ways. The moment we understand the word, we intuitively know it to be both dangerous and morally wrong. It's a small but essential step from acknowledging that understanding to calling for it to be reflected in law. And together, we can all take that step, Jesus included. And as every one of us amplifies this conversation, we acknowledge the inevitable approach of this law. It is coming, and it is inevitable. Because once you grasp it, it's such a foundational and obvious law to put in place. 
It protects everything we love, everything we hold dear, everything that sustains us. It protects life. Let's make ecocide a crime. Thank you.